I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today I thought I would take a few minutes to share some tips about when you're moving out of state. Now, whether you're moving here to beautiful, sunny Southern California in LA County or Orange County, or you're moving out of state, you're in luck because I'm gonna provide you a comprehensive guide to help make your move a success. Moving can be overwhelming, especially when you're moving to a different state you may feel anxious about leaving your friends and family behind, worried about finding the right neighborhood to live in, and concerned about how to transport all your belongings safely. But you're not alone and we're here to help you out. Before making the big move, it's essential to research the area you're moving to. You'll wanna learn about the climate, cost of living, and housing options. If you have kids, the education options. This research will give you a better understanding of what to expect when you arrive. A big decision for many people is to choose if you're going to rent or buy. And depending on the length of time that you might live there, this may affect your decision. Also, your ability to get familiar with the area. Many people choose to buy in their new area after renting there for a bit to get to know the area. Or at the very least, stay in a short-term rental to better get to know neighborhoods. If you do decide to buy right away, having the right agent like our team can help make a huge difference because they can ask you questions about your goals and needs and connect you up with areas that you may not have otherwise considered. Another consideration is when people are deciding whether or not to sell their current home or keep it as a rental. Now this can be a good idea if you're planning on being a long-term rental owner or if you're not sure if this move is the right move or your home is more or less paid off. Some of the challenges can be having a good property manager to manage the property when you're so far away. In addition, there is a primary residence capital gains to think about as well. If you don't live in the home for at least two out of the last five years, you now lose your $500,000 or $250,000 for a single person capital gains tax exclusion. Ask me if you have more questions about that. And we've worked with many clients who kept their home as a rental only to decide to sell it later and found that the tenants did some serious damage to the property. Next, you'll wanna choose the right moving company. Choosing the right moving company is critical to ensuring that your move goes smoothly. Look for a company with experience and good reviews. It's a good idea to talk to several and make sure you get everything in writing that they promise. Don't forget to check their license and insurance. Finally, Make sure you plan your move ahead of time. The earlier you start planning your move, the better. Create a timeline of what needs to be done, including packing, hiring movers, and updating your address. Be sure to allow enough time for unexpected delays. Moving out of state may seem daunting, but with the right planning, it can be smooth and easy. Don't forget to research your new state, choose the right moving company, and plan your move ahead of time. Again, this is Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or are thinking about moving out of state yourself, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please feel free to show forward and share this with your friends.